Hello, good evening. Hello, Hello good evening, teacher. Hello, Carla. It's nice to see you again. Yes, teacher. Fine, teacher. Fine. I work in today. I work in today. Oh, you work today. <coughs> I, you work, I remember you work Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, right? Hello. Hello, Iris. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Are you? Really good. Thank you. It's nice to see you again. How are your vacations? Two weeks uh, vacations. <laughs> Very good. Hi. Did you study on your vacations? No. <laughs> I don't know why, but it didn't surprise me. <laughs> it's like vacation teacher. Normal. Yeah. Vacation is vacation. No books, no platform, no study. Mm, no. no. <laughs> okay, that's the word vacation. <laughs> okay, but you're here again and it's um, nice to see you again. All you know, all the course expectations and the rules, you know my name. I am Flor Pero. And I'm work for English Corporativo and I'm going to be your teacher for this module again. You know, the, the rules are the same. Uh, we have classes from Monday to Monday. Monday. Okay, we have classes from Monday to Thursday from 8 to 9. Okay, the classes are from 8 to 9. Hello, can you hear? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Now yes, I'm teacher. Silence. Okay. Well, uh, basically, I expected more people to join the meeting. But well, espera que se unan más personas. A uh, los que veo acá ya conocen las normas. Ya conocen los horarios, ya conocen la plataforma, ok. So, si más adelante se unen más personas nuevas, voy a repetir para las personas nuevas, ok. Well, um, have you checked the platform? What is the topic for today? Did you check the platform? Hello, did you check the platform for today? Yes? Yeah. No? Not mm -hmm. No. I okay, uh, what is the topic for today? The ones who checked the platform, can you tell me what is the topic for today? Month and date. Okay, month and, months and dates. Oh. Mm -hmm. Months and dates. Going, going to and months and dates. Okay, going to and months and dates. That is important. It's very basic. Uh, to know how to say the date in English is very important. How, what kind of numbers do we use to say the date in English? First. Second. Okay. To say dates in English, we use first, second. Uh huh. What kind of numbers are they? They are called ordinal numbers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ordinal. 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 
Uh -huh. Ordinal numbers. Those are the numbers that we used to say the dates in English. Uh, for example, if I ask you, when do we celebrate Labor's Day? Labor's Day. When do we celebrate the Labor's Day? I don't know. No. I don't know. No? No. Labor's Day. El día del trabajo. <laughs> Well, <laughs> labor de labor. Okay. When do we celebrate Labor's Day? <laughs> My first. Okay. Excellent. We celebrate Labor's Day on May 1st. Okay. Very good. When do we celebrate Children's Day? Children's Day? October. 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 First. October. First. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's on October first. I was thinking of Halloween. When do we celebrate Halloween? Uh, <laughs> October. October. Thirty-one. 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 Thirty-first. Mm -hmm. And their first. Yes, it's on October 31st. Remember that we use ordinal numbers to talk about dates. Okay. 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 Ordinal numbers. Uh -huh. Sería como decir en español trigésimo primero, right? October 31st. Mm -hmm. okay. 31st. When is your birthday, Felipe? My birthday is... Uh... June. Okay, your birthday is on June. On June. Uh -huh, and the date? Seventh. Oh, easy, seventh. Can you ask the same question to another classmate? <laughs> the same question for another classmate. The same question. Mm -hmm. La misma pregunta a otro your, compañero. Is, when is your birthday? When is your birthday? Eh, José Amaya. Mm. José Amaya, my, when is your birthday? My birthday is in December 23. Mm, 23. 23. 23rd, uh -huh, 23rd, okay, repeat, ah, okay, my birthday okay. is on December 23rd. My my birthday is December 21st. 23rd, 23rd, 23rd. Oh, 23rd. Yes. okay, 23rd. 23rd. Mm -hmm. 23rd. My birthday is on December 23rd. Okay, good, Jose, ask the same question to another classmate, please. Jose, you can ask Danny, Marta, Abigail, Ronald, when is your birthday, Jaime? Marta, when Hello. is your birthday? My birthday is on November 27th. Okay, on November 27th. Good, Marta. Ask the same question to another classmate. Um, uh, Karen, when is your birthday? Karen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is um April 20. April 20? 20. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, 20th. 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 Repeat. Okay. 20th. okay. Very good. Ask the same question to another classmate. When is your birthday is uh, Danny? Um my birthday is on 22nd February. 
Okay, on February 22nd. Or February, February. I have first month and then the date. My birthday is on February 22nd. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. When is your birthday, Rona Lamaya? Hi, good, good evening. Hi. Good evening. <laughs> My birth birthday is no. November no. on 16. Okay, say so my birthday is on November 16th. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, repeat. My birthday is in November, on November 16th. My birthday is on November 16th. Okay, good, Ronald. Ask the same question. And Jose Amaya, <clears throat> what is your birthday? Mm, okay, or uh, Jose already participate. You can ask Abigail, or Jaime, or Carla, or Iris. Uh, Abigail, what is your birthday, Abigail? My birthday is on July sixth. Okay, good. Now, Abigail, ask Iris. Where are you? Birthday? When is when is your birthday? When is your birthday? Um, my birthday is on September twelfth. Okay, good. Iris, ask Jaime. When is your birthday, Jaime? Uh, your microphone is off, Jaime. Hello. 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 My birthday is on June 15. On June? June 15. Okay, cool. Now, um, I said to you, Regina, pretty good job with the ordinal numbers, but well, we are going to review on um, ordinal numbers. Let me share the screen with you. Okay, this is what you have on the platform. Okay, first we have months and dates. This is what you have there in the platform. Okay, we are going to listen and repeat first month and then we are going to repeat the dates. Let's listen and repeat. Unit 11, what are you going to do? Page 72, exercise one, months and dates. Can you listen the audio? Si se escucha. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, cool. Part A, listen and practice the months. January. January. February. February. March. March. April. April. May. May. June. June. July. July. August. August. September. September. October. October. November. November. December. December. Okay. And then we have the dates. Luego tenemos las uh, fechas. ¿Cómo decimos la fecha en inglés? Bueno, en inglés es diferente a español. Nosotros en español usamos uh, los números ordina, um, cardinales. Decimos uno, dos, tres, cuatro. En inglés es diferente. En inglés se usan los números ordinales para decir las fechas. Primero mencionamos el mes y luego la fecha. En el caso que sea primero, se dice first. Cuando se escribe, al escribir first, se escribe solamente el 1 
y una S y una T pequeño al final, que es la terminación de la palabra, first. Las dos últimas um, letras o consonantes, en este caso first, termina en ST, right? So we write the number one and then the ST, esa es la abreviatura de first. Uh, second, como pueden ver, termina en ND, second. Entonces escribe el número dos y una N y una D pequeña, second. Third, ahí ya va RD, right? Third. Aquí habría que escribir un tres y una R y una D pequeña. Pero lo que vamos a pronunciar es pronunciación. Luego, fourth, fifth, um, sixth. Estos casi todos terminan con TH y así se escribe, right? La abreviatura con una TH al final. Okay, todos estos vienen igual hasta que volvemos al vigésimo primero. Cuando volvemos al vigésimo primero, eh, volvemos a hacer lo mismo. Escribimos el 2, el 1 y como termina en ST, 21st, ST. 22nd termina en ND. Entonces escribimos 2, 2, ND. 23rd, el vigésimo tercero, 23rd, RD, at the end, RD al final. Okay. Luego volvemos a lo mismo, todos terminan en TH, vamos haciendo lo mismo, hasta llegar al trigésimo primero, 31st. Okay. Vamos a practicar pronunciación, se los voy a poner el audio para que ustedes repitan en casa. Ahorita acabo de silenciar los micrófonos porque escuché que por ahí como que anda fuerte el tráfico, se escuchaba una motocicleta. Um, sí, cualquier pregunta que tengan ustedes mismos pueden habilitar el micrófono, ¿ok? Um, let's listen and then you can repeat. Page 72, exercise 1. Hola. I want a question, teacher. You have a question. Yes. It, it... Siempre, siempre, siempre se tiene que utilizar el, eh, las terminaciones de, las, de, los num, de los números. Cuando se escribe, sí. Uh -huh. En el caso que estemos usando números ordinales, como primero, segundo, tercero, y lo escribimos, como si lo va a escribir en la, en la pizarra o lo va a escribir en algún documento, la fecha, Sí, se le escribe la terminación. Esto solo es con los números ordinales que son para, en este para caso lo vamos, la para las fechas. Ajá. Las fechas en inglés se dicen con números ordinales. Y si va a escribirlo, la abreviatura sería el 1 más la ST. Pero los otros números como 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, esos no tienen esta abreviatura. No, de, igual no manera, de, igual, de igual manera se utilizaría si yo le quiero o si yo le quiero poner el, eh, la fecha de cumpleaños a una tarjeta, por decir algo. Sí, sí. Ajá. Por ejemplo, si usted está haciendo una invitación para un cumpleaños, eh, tiene que escribir la fecha y la fecha se escribe con números de este tipo, que son los ordinales. Cuando lo escribimos, siempre tenemos que escribir siempre, 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 así como está acá. El número más las dos letritas con la que termina la, la palabra. Ok, gracias. Uh -huh. Ok, eso es siempre, siempre, siempre en el caso de las fechas y que estemos escribiendo. También se utiliza para aniversario. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, vamos a celebrar nuestro décimo aniversario. Ok, let's celebrate our tenth anniversary. ¿Eh? Entonces, el chant iría con TH al final, por ejemplo. Ok. Gracias. Ok. Now, is there any other question? No more questions? Ok, so we can continue. Let's listen and practice. Part B. Complete the dates. Then listen and practice. First. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, 
tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth, twenty first, twenty second, twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty sixth, twenty seventh, twenty eighth, twenty ninth, thirtieth, thirty first. Okay. That's how they are pronounced in English. Any other question? No more questions? Okay. Let's use them in a conversation. Okay. Sure. Yes? Y para pronunciar los años, eh, por ejemplo, 2020, Si lo utiliz utilizamos normal, los números. Sí, ahí se utiliza normal, por ejemplo, um, porque para decir años no ocupamos número ordinal, sino que ocupamos los cardinales. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir today is Monday, Monday, luego digo el mes, Monday, March, luego digo ninth. Ok, el noveno día de marzo, ninth. Okay, March 9. Luego ponemos una coma. Y el 2020, 2020. 2020, no, no lo decimos ordinal, sí. eh, car, cardinal lo decimos. Ok, así es como se escriben las fechas en inglés: primero el día, luego el mes. Luego la fecha utilizando un número ordinal y el año, los años se dicen en número eh, cardinal, ajá, que son los normales, 2020. Uh -huh. Esto lo usamos más que todo para decir fechas, eh, para hablar sobre aniversarios también y para dar números en secuencia. Por ejemplo, cuando estamos dando las instrucciones para una receta, ¿verdad?, Puedo decir primero cómo hacer un omelette, ok? First. Put um, oil in a frying. Ok, este sería el primer paso para hacer un omelette, right? Sería primero... First, put oil in a frying pan. Poner aceite en una sartén. Right? Para dar, luego, second. Este es el segundo paso. Para eso es que se utilizan los números ordinales. Son las principales para hablar de fechas, a mencionar aniversarios y para dar instrucciones o pasos a seguir. Esos son los, el, el uso principal que se le da a los números ordinales, pero para decir años se dicen números normales, digámoslo así. Okay. Any other question? No more questions? Okay. Let's continue. Okay. We have a conversation here. What's going on? Can you see the picture? What's happening in the picture? What do you see in that picture? Bird of plants. Okay, the topic of the conversation is birthday plants. What do you see in the picture? Can you describe the picture? A boy. There is a boy. I think uh, she's cooking. Okay, and he's, um, he remembers someone, uh, well, about a girl who is cooking. Uh-huh. 
What else? They are speaking. What do you think that they are talking about? Está como cómo hacer un plato de comida. Yes, probably they are discussing how to make a, a cake. Um, do you think that she can cook? No, it's a cake. <laughs> okay, she can't cook. Okay, let's listen what's going on in this conversation. Let's listen and then you tell me if you find new vocabulary. Okay. Okay. Page 72, exercise two, conversation, birthday plans. Listen at practice. Are you gonna do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm gonna celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. When is it exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So what are your plans? I'm gonna go to my friend Kayla's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Nice. Is she going to bake a cake, too? Bake a cake? Oh, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, did you find your vocabulary in this conversation? Yes. Una amiga le va a hacer una cena especial para su cumpleaños. Okay, that is what is going on. Una amiga le va a hacer una cena especial en su cumpleaños. Okay, encontrar un vocabulario nuevo. No. No new vocabulary. La palabra. Exactly. No, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yes. Vamos a ti. Exciting. En esta. Okay. Emocionante. Uh -huh. Algo emocionante. Anything exciting. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Es similar like in Spanish. Exactamente. Por ahí escuché bake. Esta, bake, esto significa hornear, uh -huh. es hornear. Uh -huh. All right. And no. two, uh, también. nice to meet you too. Ok, cuando usted dice nice to meet you too, el to se refiere a también, es como, es un gusto conocerte también. También es un gusto conocerte. It's nice to meet you too. Ah. Uh -huh. Y um, aquí la pregunta es, is she going to make a cake too? La pregunta es si también va a hornear un pastel too. Es también. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right. Uh, let's listen one more time. Pay attention to pronunciation because then you are going to practice the conversation with your classmates, okay? Let's listen. Page 72, exercise two, conversation, birthday plans. Listen and practice. Are you gonna do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm gonna celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. When is it exactly? It's August 9th. Sunday. So what are your plans? I'm going to go to my friend Kayla's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Nice. Is she going to bake a cake too? Bake a cake? Oh, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, volunteers sure. to practice the com conversation. Volunteers. Okay, I have Carla. Carla and Iris. Okay, we have Carla and Iris first. Let's listen to Carla and Iris. You can start, Carla. Are you going to do anything outside this weekend? 
Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. What is it exactly? It's August night Sunday. So, what are your plans? I'm going to go to my friend Carla house. She's going to cook a special dining for me. Nice. Is she going to bake a cake too? Bake a cake? I'm not sure. Okay, very nice. Nice pronunciation. You did a great job. There is an order. This is a um, special <laughs> dinner. 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 Yeah, dinner. Okay, the pronunciation is dinner. Okay, dinner. thank you, Carla. Thank you, Iris. You did a great job. Another two volunteers, Danny. Okay. And Ronald. Okay, we have Danny and Ronald. I'm the first. Yes. Okay. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. When is it exactly? So what are your plans? I'm going to go to my friend Carla's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Nice. Is she going to cake up? Is <laughs> Sorry, sorry. No, don't worry. Nice. Is she going to bake Is a cake too? Is she going too? to bake a cake too? Bake a cake? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, uh, you did a really, really good job. Okay, another two volunteers. Another two. Okay, we have Jaime. <laughs> Um, someone else to practice with Jaime? Jaime? Hello. Okay, Felipe. You can start, Jaime. Okay. Are you going to do anything inside in this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my, my birthday. It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are you plans? Um, I'm going to go to my friend Kayla's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Jaime? Nice. Bake a cake? Oh, I'm not sure. Okay, really good. Good job, guys. Be sure. Hmm? See? Uh, what is the best pronunciation in I going to go to my friend's Kyla house? Too good, too? I'm going to, okay, it is a, like, uh, Si escuchan, la, bueno, le voy a poner la conversación otra vez. Uh, Eso es, I'm gonna go to, gonna go to. Es el going go. to, ajá, lo, lo pronuncian como gonna. Ajá. Va, escuchen otra vez la conversación y aquí dice, I'm gonna go to my friend Kayla's house. Nosotros no, no estamos muy acostumbrados a, a unir, ¿verdad? Los sonidos. Pero... Lo ideal sería empezar a hacerlo de esa manera. Cuando estemos uh, diciendo, going to is gonna. I'm gonna go to, y ese es go to. Go to my friend's Kayla's house. I'm gonna go to my friend's Kayla's house. Can you repeat? I'm gonna go to my friend's Kayla's house. I'm gonna go to my friend's Kayla's house. Okay. Okay. Otra vez. Hay que practicarlo bastante. I'm gonna go to my friend's house. I'm gonna go to my friend's house. Okay. Por ahí oí alguien que lo hizo super bien rapidito. I'm I'm gonna go. 
I'm going to go. go. I'm going to go to my friend's cousin's house. I'm going to go to my friend's cousin's house. I'm going to go to my friend's cousin's house. I'm going to go to my friend's cousin's house. I'm going to go to my friend's cousin's house. Ahora sí, gonna go to my friend Carlos house. I'm gonna go to my friend Carlos house. I'm gonna go to my friend Carla house. I'm gonna go to my friend Kayla house. Okay, I'm gonna go to my friend Kayla's house. I'm gonna go to my friend Carla's house. Okay. Okay. Suena mejor si no están viendo, ¿verdad? I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to my friend Kayla's house. 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 Esto es porque si estamos leyendo, nosotros queremos leer cada palabra. Pero en realidad, cuando es speaking, sin estar ¿Ah? leyendo, como que se suelta más. Lisa, y ahí van a ver. Lisa. Page 72, exercise 2, conversation, birthday plans. Listen and practice. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. When is it exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So what are your plans? I'm going to go to my friend Kayla's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Nice. Is she going to bake a cake too? Bake a cake? Oh, I'm not sure. Okay. Si se fijaron que siempre ellos dicen gonna, no going to. Gonna. Mm-hmm, gonna. gonna. Mm -hmm. No dicen going to, sino que gonna. That's the correct word. Si usted dice I'm going to, se lo entiende. Se y el to podemos decirlo como ro. I'm gonna go to. Si dice voy a ir a, I'm gonna go to. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go to. Si podemos uh -huh. pronunciar el to como una R y una O. Ajá, si dice, como en este caso. Si es I'm going to. Y otro verbo que no sea ir a, como go to, es gonna. Por ejemplo, si digo, yo voy a celebrar, I'm gonna celebrate. Ya no decimos, I'm going to. Gonna celebrate. It's gonna, gonna celebrate. celebrate. I'm gonna celebrate. I'm gonna celebrate. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. uh, pero si digo, voy a ir a, I'm gonna go to, Voy a ir a multiplaza. I'm gonna go to multiplaza. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's about pronunciation. Let's see. I have 12 people. ¿Cuántos nuevos hay aquí? ¿Quién es la primera vez que están con nosotros? No hay nuevos acá. No. Okay. Bueno, entonces no hay nuevos. Ok. Entonces ya todos conocen las reglas, ¿verdad? Los horarios, cómo se usa la plataforma, etc. Uh, tal vez algunos no sepan, eh, mi nombre es Flor Guerrero. Okay. Flor Guerrero, and I'm going to be your teacher. I work for English Corporativo, and I'm going to be here teaching. Ok. Now, um, any question? No questions for me. I am going to go back. No. Okay. So let's continue with the topic then. Mm -hmm. Here we have, how do we form uh, the uses of going to? Uh, ¿Para qué se usa el going to? Uh, going to ir cuando vas a hacer algo, acción. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Going to tens. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, we use going to um, to talk about plans, right? El going to se usa para hablar sobre planes, yeah? How do we form it? So it says going to is for future. Se usa para hablar del futuro, planes a futuro. Okay. How do we form it? Okay, for affirmative statements, we're gonna use the subject plus verb to be. When I mean verb to be is am, um, is, are, depending on the subject, right? And then the phrase going to, and after, right after going to, you use a main verb in the simple form. Okay, esta es la estructura para hacer oraciones afirmativas usando going to. Okay, we use a going to to talk about future. <clears throat> For example, I'm going to study with my friends. As you can see, there is the structure. The subject in this case is I, there to be, I'm going to. It is the phrase going to the main verb study and then the complement with my friends. That's a compliment. If the subject is he, the verb to be is then going to. After going to, we use the main verb without anything, right? It's an infinitive, no changes. And then the compliment. He's going to visit his friends tomorrow. Okay. La estructura siempre va a ir acompañada de una forma del verbo to be. Okay. Siempre va a ir am, is, are, dependiendo de cuál sea el sujeto. Siempre va a ir la frase going to y luego de la frase going to un verbo en tiempo simple, no lo va a conjugar, no le va a agregar IES ni todo lo, lo que veíamos en presente simple, esto es diferente. Aquí no importa si es tercera persona, no le va a hacer ningún cambio al verbo principal. Como ven acá, he es tercera persona, pero el verbo lo dejamos tal cual, no le agregamos nada. He is going to visit his parents tomorrow. Ok. Another example, they, the subject is they, so the verb to be would be are. Then the phrase going to, the verb bring, and then the complement, me a gift. They're gonna bring me a gift. Questions so far? No questions? Teacher. Bring? Yes. Bring me. And I'm gonna to study. I'm gonna study. I'm gonna study. I'm gonna study with my yes, friends. I'm gonna, I'm gonna study I'm with my friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, bring significa traerme. Traer. Traer. Uh -huh. They're gonna bring me a gift. They're gonna give me a, a gift. Me van a traer un regalo. Mm -hmm. Bring me a gift. Mm -hmm. They're gonna bring me a gift. Como era la pregunta, teacher? Where are, where are going to? Gonna. The question at the beginning. What, what are you going to do? Uh -huh. What are you what, going to What are you going to do? What are you what, gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do tomorrow, Danny? I go to work. I gonna I wanna gonna work. work. I gonna work. Okay. I gonna work. Okay. What are you gonna do tomorrow, Karen? I what are you gonna do tomorrow, Karen? I'm 
may have uh, um, I am, I am, I am San Vicente. I am San Vicente. Ah, entonces iré a San Vicente. I'm gonna go to San Vicente. I'm gonna go to San Vicente. Oh, I am gonna go to San Vicente. I'm gonna go to San Vicente. I'm gonna go to San Vicente. Ajá, o voy a ir. I'm going to go to San Vicente. I'm going. I'm going to. I am going to. Go to San Vicente. Oh, I'm going to go to San Vicente. Go to I'm San Vicente. Go. I am going to practice exercise. I'm going to practice English. Okay. What is she going to do? What is she going to do? What you gonna do, Jaime? What you gonna do? She are going. She, she, uh huh. She, ¿qué iría después de she? She is gonna do, gonna to go. She is going, going to go to go to Mexico. For coronavirus. Okay, she's going to travel. What are they going to do? They are going to they are, go. they are going. Uh -huh. They are going to they are going to wash wash the dish. Uh -huh. They are going to wash the dishes. What are they going to do? They are gonna, gonna go to shopping. They are gonna go shopping, probably. They are going to go shopping, okay. What is he gonna do? <laughs> He's gonna... Sleeping. Sleep? Sleep. Uh -huh. I'm gonna verbo principal. He's gonna go. Sleep. Sleep. He's gonna sleep. Oh, he is going to sleep. Going to sleep. Uh huh. He is going to sleep. Going to sleep. Let's repeat. He is going to sleep. He is going to sleep. Going to sleep. Okay. What about they? What are they gonna do? They are going to watch the concert. They are going to dance. They are going to dance club. They are going to dance. Okay. They are going to the movies. To movies. And here, what are they going to do? They are going to go to school. They are going to go to They are going to go to school. They are going to go to school. They are going to go What is going to happen? If for uh, the rain, no. It's going to rain. Uh huh. It is going to rain. It is gonna. Uh -huh. It's going to rain. Remember, subject plus verb to be, then going to, and the main verb. Okay. I'm gonna study with my friends. He's gonna visit his parents tomorrow. They're gonna visit his parents tomorrow. Okay. Now, 
what about you? Can you talk about your tomorrow plans? Can you mention uh, five things that you're gonna go tomorrow? Mention five things that you're gonna do tomorrow. Tomorrow, for example, tomorrow I'm gonna teach. Um, I'm going to write my lesson plans. I'm gonna check the platform. I'm gonna plan the activities uh, for the class. And finally, I'm gonna sleep. What about you? Can you mention five things that you're gonna do tomorrow? Uh, work. Um, I'm gonna work. Eat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But yeah. use the structure. Who said that I am going to? I am going to. I am going to. <laughs> okay, yeah. Karen. Can you mention five things that you are going to do tomorrow? I am going to work. I am going to, I'm going to eat. Mm -hmm. I am going to sleep. Um, I am going to the platform. I am going to. <laughs> Check or to study. Siempre tiene que poner un verbo después de to. Oh, okay. I am going to. I am going uh, to meeting. I am going to have a meeting or I am going to attend a meeting. Siempre tiene que poner un verbo después del to. Oh. Going to. Okay. Y la acción que va a hacer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, it is. What are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to cook a breakfast. I'm going I'm, to cook breakfast, okay. I'm going to leave a child. Child, o sea, niño, ¿cómo se dice? Niño. Child. 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 To school. I'm going to a uh, gym. Um, I'm going to cook um El almuerzo, ¿cómo se dice? Lunch. 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 Um, I am going to... Uh, I'm going to sleep. Excellent. Okay. Uh, pregúntale a otro compañero, Iris. What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to, to do tomorrow, Patricia Morales? I am going to have a medical consultation. Le faltan cuatro, son cinco. <laughs> ¿A mí? Sí. I am going to have meeting. I am going to go oh, eh, a party. <laughs> okay. I am going to have check platform. Okay, I'm going to check the platform. Very nice. What about you, um, Jose? What are you going to do tomorrow? Uh, I'm going to study. I'm going to lunch. I am going to eat lunch, prepare lunch. Eat lunch, okay. I'm going to check platform. Mm -hmm. I'm going. I'm going work. I'm going to work. I'm going to work. And, work. and I'm going to sleep. Okay, very nice. Well, guys, it was a pleasure to see you again. Um, um, so I'm going to stop here. I have another class. Ya tengo la otra clase. So um, it was a pleasure to see you again and hope you complete the exercise for the first section, at least the ones for the going to. But, and if you have any question, any difficulty, let me know, okay? Okay. Okay, enjoy your dinner and sleep well. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much.